Hi there, Izzy from Digital Goja Showrooms. Today we're going to take a look at a predicament that I've noticed in a lot of the customer service questions and some blogs out on the internet about customers and users having filters and wide angle adapters stuck on their precious lenses and what to do. I mean it's very frustrating because you're out and about you're on your favorite shoot, you're going, taking images, videos, and all of a sudden you're trying to swap out your filter and your adapter, and it's stuck, and you have no way of getting it off. Well, believe it or not, there's a very simple answer. It's a rubber band, and this can go with you everywhere. You'll see that on the internet there's other examples, uh, freezing the, the product, and you can't do that when you're on the field. This is the one that I found that works the best, especially when you're in a hurry and you have no other access to equipment to try to remove it and you don't want to damage your precious lenses. So let's take a closer look at how this works. And remember, if this video is helpful to you, hit me up with a like button underneath and remember to subscribe to our channel for future sessions and tutorials and always leave any questions or comments underneath. Now let's take a closer look and try to help ourselves on how to remove filters and adapters from our beautiful lenses. Well, you're in quite a predicament. Right now, you have your Slimline Altura Photo CPL filter stuck on your actual primary lens from Canon. Now, this could be with any lens and it could be with any filter. But for example, I'm using this one because this happens to be the really popular slim design that is coming out now. Very important because this doesn't give you any vignetting. But the big problem with filters like this that are CPLs, notice how the front area always moves. And that's usually the reason why it gets over time because as you turn the front element, this is what's creating the polarization effect. So now you have no way of getting a good grasp on that thinner portion in the back which is what is actually threaded on to your lens. So what I found to come in very handy is to place a rubber band around your filter. Now if you can get a hold of a wider one like this it'll be great because it gives you extra traction but if not it'll work with a regular standard slimmer rubber band. You want to place it around your filter All right? and remember you're going to grasp towards the bottom because the bottom portion is the one that actually threads onto your lens. The front one will always turn. Now because I'm using a wider one, I'm grabbing both of them at the same time and it gives me a little bit better traction. And you turn it, and there you go, it came off. No problem, you didn't damage your filter and you didn't damage your precious primary lens on your camera. So actually this would be a recommendation to have a rubber band with you at all times. Put it in your gear bag, in your camera bag. This is something that comes in handy when situations like this arise, especially when you're on the field. Well, it's happened and believe me it happens to a lot of us. You've gotten your Altura Photo 0.43x. This guy is now stuck on your primary lens and you've tried and tried but you can't get it off so that means that it's probably over tightened and there is a way to get rid of this off of your lens without damaging either the Altura Photo 0.43x or your precious primary lens so what you need to do is get a hold of a rubber band preferably something wide like this because it's going to allow you to get a better grip now what you want to do is you want to put it around the attachment not around your lens. Now notice that this attachment has two sections because it has a macro area in the back. You want to wrap it around this one. If you're having issues because of the larger format in the front, remove that one. So this guy now is not in the way and now you want to turn this one and you're going to have a much better grip because of the rubber band around it. So this is going to allow you to turn this much easier and notice how voila you're able to take it off. So just get a hold of a rubber band. I mean if you can't find a wide one like this a thinner one will work but preferably try to work with the widest one possible and this should be always in your camera bag as a gear to have for certain situations just like this. Mm -hmm.